Welcome to the Wild Crone Wisdom Podcast with your host Vinuta Mohan. In this episode, we explore a very powerful state and trait that we can develop to navigate life's various challenges. A trait that has so many benefits on all dimensions of life that we unfortunately fail to cultivate adequately. Something we had as a child and lost it along the way. What could this be? In my previous episode titled One Minute Wisdom, I spoke about my midnight encounter with this luminous space inside. This pristine inner space that I encountered. What should I call it? True self? True nature? Higher self? Buddha nature? Hori spirit? Jivatma? If this pristine innocent space within is untouched and uncontaminated by my personality, or my life experiences, and doesn't give a rat's ass about my daily struggles and drama, then why should I bother trying so hard to practice a spiritual life, struggle with virtues, bring my shadow selves to light, and fall again and again in the process? I began to wonder about that. Have I got the whole thing wrong? Did I needlessly waste my time devouring scriptures and self-help books? Was it all a wild goose chase? Then a voice rose from within and whispered, Without all the training and discipline, your mind would not have been calm enough to even perceive this pristine space or to hear its subtle calling. The imagery that rose within me was a dark room with curtains drawn, the glass panes of the window covered with soot and dirt. The sun is shining brightly outside. However, inside the room, it is so dark, musty, and depressing. Sitting inside that room, one might convince oneself that there is no sun. It is always dark and dingy, and you're trapped inside forever in the dark, musty room. However, if we can take even a little peek out of the curtains, you see the sun shining so brightly all the time. So is the light of the pure being, like the sun, always shining brightly. One has to draw the curtains back, clean the window panes, open the windows to let the energizing sunlight stream into the room from all directions. That is what psycho-spiritual discipline and practices do for us. Yes, I use the word psycho-spiritual because most of us are either trying to make our external life perfect, or trying to spiritually bypass by hanging out in the transcendental realms, trying to meditate away our problems. Neither approach will work. It is but half-baked. Always reverting back to Buddha's middle way, one has to acknowledge that there are two parts to us, human and being. We have to take care of both dimensions. The human part means having our act together in our work, relationships, personal psyche with its denials, delusions and defenses, physical health, which includes sleep, nutrition and exercise. It also means living a focused life with meaning, purpose and virtues. Virtues and morals are words that are becoming extinct. But the chaos of the past few years that started with the pandemic is making these words float back into our consciousness and resurfacing in our dialogues. About time, I would think. It is only after we get our human life somewhat in order that we can sit down to encounter the being aspect of ourselves. Eckhart Tolle beautifully put it this way, infuse your doing, i.e. transactional, with being, i.e. transcendental. Then we are talking about embodied wisdom. Maybe this is why Buddha never spoke about the existence or non-existence of God because he figured once the room is clean and the windows open, the rest will reveal itself naturally like the sunlight streaming in. Getting our act together as a human is no small feat, is it? It is a lifetime adventure, one fraught with many missteps, trials and tribulations. And if you have experienced a traumatic childhood, the world seldom appears safe to you. What is one skill you can develop in order to begin this journey? 
who could be your constant best friend in this journey, no matter what is happening in your life? This friend is called curiosity. Curiosity, according to Brene Brown, is both a trait and a state. She defines curiosity as recognizing a gap in our knowledge about something that interests us and becoming emotionally and cognitively invested in closing that gap through exploration and learning. Curiosity, she says, often starts with interest and can range from mild curiosity to passionate investigation. Curiosity also helps us create some space between us and what is happening to us. It creates a space from which we can observe our thoughts, emotions, bodily sensations, and reactions. It creates a pause in which we can notice our conditioned patterns of perceiving, responding, and relating. We can become curious about our narratives, our beliefs, our wounds, and our history. However, curiosity is not without its downsides. Brené points out that choosing to be curious is choosing to be vulnerable because it requires us to surrender to uncertainty. We have to ask questions. We have to admit that we don't know all the answers. We have to risk facing rejection, anger, rage, and denial. Sometimes we may make discoveries that lead to discomfort. But if we can build our distress tolerance for these uncertainties, then curiosity can be our greatest aid in changing and healing unwholesome patterns and breaking the cycle of leading life on autopilot. As a child, we may have been very curious and asked so many questions. If we did not have an attuned empathic parent, we may have been hurt, ignored, or even punished. That is when we learn that too much curiosity can lead to hurt. Sadly, we may, as a result, armor up our vulnerability to getting hurt by choosing certainty over curiosity, becoming close-minded instead of staying open-minded, develop a fixed mindset over a growth mindset, and choose rigidity over flexibility. Armoring up and shutting down like this comes at a price. We stay stuck in our conditioned patterns, develop diseases, become set in our ways, and become polarized in our thinking and get trapped in ideological echo chambers. We can see what is happening in the world right now because of polarization. Curiosity is not just a tool or a trait. It is a reminder that we are alive. It fosters creativity, compassion, clarity, healthy conflict resolution, empathy, growth, and is a great neurobiological regulator for stress. So, become curious, George, and bring some intentional curiosity to your inner and outer life. I stress on intentionality because the goal should be growth, not gossip. Try this for a day, a week, or even for an hour. You might be pleasantly surprised by its benefits. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Wild Prone Wisdom with your host, Vinita Mohan. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist from the Bay Area, California, specializing in trauma and attachment repair. I'm also a certified EMDR specialist and a certified shamanic practitioner. In this podcast series, we delve into the journey of our spiritual essence, having a human experience. While many social scientists study human emotions, thoughts, and behaviors, and others explore transcendental experiences, few bridge the gap to help embody the spiritual wisdom in everyday life. I call this the psycho-spiritual path. Through this podcast, I hope to share bite-sized practical insights for navigating life as an empowered sovereign being. If you found this episode valuable, we'd greatly appreciate your support. Please consider rating, reviewing, commenting, and subscribing on your podcast platform to help us reach a wider audience. You can explore more of my writings on Medium by following the link in the show notes. We'd also love to hear about your experience, so feel free to share your thoughts with us at wild.com 
prawnwisdompodcast at gmail.com. Thank you for being part of our journey. Please be advised, the information provided in the Wild Prone Wisdom Podcast is intended for general information purposes only. Vinita Mohan is a licensed therapist and healer. However, the content shared in this podcast does not replace or constitute professional advice, therapy, or counseling. It is essential to consult with a qualified mental health professional for personalized guidance regarding your unique circumstances. Thank you.